Okay, guys, I thought the people in the bank were slow. The people at this subway that I go to are even slower. And the guy that was not making my sandwich, thank God, his glove was not all the way on. This is Powerade Zero, just in case you're wondering. I picked up some stuff in the Dollar Tree. Nothing really interesting. The only thing, I, I picked up um, a scrubby for the shower because I lost mine. I don't know where the hell it is. I got some of these. The only thing that I got that was interesting, these retractable gel pens. They're SpongeBob, SpongeBob gel pens. They're super cute. And I picked up two of these Fast and Fabulous Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Translucent Finishing Powder. So I got, I got two of those. And then I only got one of this because I don't know if this is my skin color. This stuff back in the bag. I don't know if this is my skin color, but this is the only color they had and it kind of looked like my skin color, maybe. So this is the Glamouflage Hard Candy Full Coverage Foundation 18 Hour Wear. And maybe when my skin gets a little darker from the sun. So this is number 1507. It doesn't say what shade it is. It just says 1507 Hard Candy. So, oh God, I'm melting. So I'm gonna get back to work. I don't even have time to eat my sandwich. I'll have to eat it when I get back to work. I'm going. Okay, guys. Oh, it's after work. It's blazing hot. Car says it's 90 degrees, but I feel like it's like a thousand. I know I always say it's a thousand degrees, and I feel like it's a thousand. I don't know. You guys that live in like Texas or Arizona, or one of those really hot states, I don't know how you guys stand it. Hot, hot. Anyway. I ordered the tank top that I wanted from Old Navy with the rainbow dancing bears on it. Um, that's the Grateful Dead t-shirt, even though I do not listen to the Grateful Dead. I think I know one song by them and I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, I had Old Navy cash. So it's like $10 if you spend $25, $10 off. Anyway. So I got this American flag shirt, which now that I think about it, I see on there a tie dye one that's red, white, and blue that I like better. So I might have to do some exchanging. Then I'm gonna go get my nails done because I can't take this anymore. And then I'm gonna go for my walk in the heat. Yes, in the heat. Oh. Uh, and then I'm going to go home and dance my pants off. I did 19 minutes and 2 seconds yesterday. We'll try for 25 minutes today. Uh, also, oh, I placed an order with JCPenney. So these St. John's Bay shirts, the tank tops, they don't have the same exact colors, but they do have about 15 colors. The tank tops are currently on sale with the coupon code at the top like friends and family or something three dollars and fifty cents for st john's bay quality shirts 350 you cannot beat it so go go check it out i ordered some reds and pinks and green and all that kind of stuff I was going to get one in every color, but I was like, you know what? I really don't need more black and I really don't need more navy. I have enough black and enough navy. So, I'm really excited about my Dancing Bears shirt. I don't know why I want that shirt so much. Because it's rainbow and it's Dancing Bears. Bears. So, I'm going to go see what that is all about now. What that's going to look like. And then I'm going to take this camera down, this phone down from the windshield because... Actually, no, it doesn't feel too hot. Because if I leave it here, I told you guys, I'll get that thermometer icon that says, your phone is too hot, shut it off, or it's not going to work, or whatever. So anyway, I'm going to start driving. 
and keep my mask over here and my bag over here get myself situated okay let's hit it okay so what happened is exactly what I thought was gonna happen so the Grateful Dead shirt with the rainbow bears and then the American flag shirt with my Old Navy cash online online order pickup in store came out to $20 even I picked them up I should have read the reviews first everybody said that the American flag shirt was like um, stars at the top and then fade then down into stripes everybody said it was very boxy and I didn't realize what they meant until I saw the shirt and then when I saw the shirt with the vet wait a minute when I saw the shirt with the bears, which I got in a large instead of an extra large with the women's, because it said loose fit, I was worried it was gonna be too small. And I was worried it was gonna be boxy. And I was worried that it was gonna be like a crop top. So the shirt with the bears fit amazingly, because I checked there for an extra large. They did not have one just in case I needed it. No, they only had the larges was the biggest size they had. Online, you can get an extra large. So anyway, I ended up uh, and I tried on the flag shirt just to try it on, even though I knew I wasn't going to like it. I did not like it. So it was very, very boxy. So I exchanged, what I did was I had to return, in order for me to use my, my old Navy cash again, I had to return everything, return both shirts and then repurchase. And I got a different Americana shirt in a tie dye which I tried on in a large, in a loose fit, which I liked a lot better. And the difference only ended up being an extra $1.88. So I'll show you what they look like. I saw the pride stuff they had. It's okay. It's not as, it's not as tacky looking as the Target pride stuff. I want to show you this stuff, but I don't want this lady who just pulled in next to me to um, look at me like I'm crazy. Get out of here, Carl, ready woman. She's just sitting there. I'm going to have to move because I can't film and show shirts while this woman is sitting next to me looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm going to try to sit somewhere incon inconspicuous. I have to say the Grateful Dead shirt, I really, really, really wanted it to look good. I'm going to be positive. It looks good, but it does not look fabulous. Um, if I was a little thinner, it would look fabulous. And it's shorter, it's not a crop top, but it's not, it's a little shorter than a regular shirt. It's just like to the waist, which I prefer mine to be below the waist. But anyway, let me show you. So this is the Grateful Dead Dancing Bear shirt. Why I had to have this, I don't know. So tell me this is improved. This, this should be in their pride section. Okay. Did Grateful Dead know that they were prideful? They're a little scary. Anyway. Then the shirt that I got instead of the American flag shirt, which I think is better because it's not so in your face. is um this one and this is an easy fit tee and they're both size large so this one is a little longer so i think that's a lot better a lot more summery and not just like bam american flag like you know literally not that i'm ashamed to wear the american flag i have american flag stuff it's just that the shirt was so boxy it was like literally like the straps and then it had no shape it was just like straps box which this this is kind of boxy as well it's not as bad the american flag one was bad this one i just loved the <laughs> i don't know why i love this design so much thumbnail oh we just had to have it 
Okay. Anyway, now I have to go get my nails fixed. Because it's already getting late. There was such a long line in Old Navy. You'd think they were giving the clothes away. Look, my, it's it came a little, it was a little, it's a little blotchy. It's a little blotchy there. Anyway, but look, healthy glow. I gotta get moving because it looks like it's gonna start raining any second. And I gotta go get my nails done and I have to do my walk and I have to go home and dance my pants off. <sighs> yep, let's go. Okay, I'm done with my much needed, much needed manicure. Oh, look, my nails look more natural. This is my actual nails under there. They look so much more natural. I had them done round. I had them cut down because I just cannot do the dragon lady nails anymore. I know like the younger women, the younger women that I know, they do the dragon lady nails. I can't do them. If I need to be called a mature woman because I need to have normal, natural looking nails, then that's what I have to be. So this for you guys, before I forget, this is Wave Gel USA, number 217, Mars Rubies. No idea what that means. It's Mars like the planet, but it's M-A-R apostrophe S rubies. R-U-B-I-E-S. Mars rubies. Wave gel USA number 217. So it's basically hot pink with glitter in it already. So I had a broken nail as I showed you. So they had to take the fake nail, the acrylic off. And the lady that was doing my nails, she couldn't take it off without hurting me. And I was like, get the owner, cause he does my nails usually. I said, I bet you he could take it off without hurting me. And she started like, I guess cursing at me in her language. I don't know what she was saying, but I imagine it was not nice. And uh, so she was mad. She's, she's like, go over there. You know, she's like, okay, you go sit with him. So he did my nails. And then at the end, right? Oh, there's this part at the end. Uh, you know, they massage your hands, right? But it, it's always good when he does my nails because they're all women. He's the only man there. He's the owner. And because he has man hands, because he's a guy, right? So he, and he didn't do it this time. And I told him, you didn't do the part at the end. Is the, he takes your hand with his hand and he pulls your, he pulls your, he, and your, all your knuckles crack. And he just does this thing where he pulls out your, oh, I said, do that part. Do that. <laughs> I said, I have stress. Do that part where you, where you pull out my hand. And he did it. I was like, oh, it feels so good. Oh, Okay. I I had stress in my hands. I had stresses. Now my nails and my hands feel much better. Don't they look much better? Okay. Now I'm going to try listening to the Grateful Dead. Because I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. And not wear a t-shirt of a band without listening to the band. And I have heard the Grateful Dead before. There's one song I know by them. But I can't think of the name of it. So I will try listening to them. I have Apple Music. Let's see if I like the Grateful Dead. Okay. I, I can't listen to them. I, I just, I can't. I can't. Oh, oh, oh my God. They're terrible. Who likes the Grateful Dead? Oh my God. All the songs sound exactly the same. It's the same monotone, same sound. Do you have to be like high on life? to enjoy them I know they were around like during Woodstock and like in the 70s and peace and love and all of that but oh I can't take them they're so bland so boring so monotone oh I just oh I listened to like a, a couple of minutes of like each song on the the greatest hits or whatever oh by the way touch of gray is the song that I knew by them and even that one I don't like it's that they're terrible. I just, I can't, they, I, oh, I just can't listen to them. I can't. I can't. I'll stick with my dancing bears and, and that's it. I can say I've listened to the Grateful Dead and they are definitely not for me. Definitely not. 
We're getting stopped at the gas station, not because I need gas. Take my gum out. I have PMS headache, and not just from listening to the Grateful Dead. I needed chocolate. I have cramps, I have swelling, and I don't even have my period yet. It's just the, the pre-period mess. Not literally. Just the cramps, the headache, and whatever. And I, the only thing that gets rid of it is chocolate. And I'm not saying, and women know. So I was looking, scanning the chocolate aisle, and I did not want anything that was light chocolate. Like, I needed something that was like heavy chocolate. Like chocolate chocolate. And I wanted dark chocolate. I don't, that's, I, I don't like milk chocolate. It doesn't, it's too sweet. It doesn't do it for me for this. So I, I was scanning, and then I found it. Oh, thank God. Milky Way Midnight. This is the cure for period headache right here. No judging. Oh, and then I got myself some water. All right, so I picked up the Judy Master. My mom was already asleep. So he was just sitting there. And then he starts barking at me. Oh, like, where have you been? So the chocolate did help with the cramps. But it still feels swollen. Still kind of have a little bit of a headache. It's after 8 o'clock. So I'm not going to do too much talking. I'm going to get this walk in. And then get home and dance my pants off. Alright, I'm done with my walk. It only took me about 15 minutes. So, um, Malcolm... We might have to downgrade Malka from from Duty Master to Duty Maker because a 15 minute walk and he's ready to kill over. How can you be the Duty Master? How can you master the duty if you can't even walk? What are you doing? He's rubbing his face in the... What are you doing? It's not even that hot out, Malcolm. It's 78 degrees. It was like 90 billion degrees this morning. This afternoon. How can you be the duty master? We'll go home. We'll get you some cold water. Not ice water, but cold water. This ice water is bad. Don't want to decrease the temperature too fast. We'll get you some ice water. Uh, not ice water. Cold water. And we'll put the air conditioner on your belly, okay? All right. Just take it easy there, co-pilot. You want to puck power? Puck power. I know, Malcolm. You did not choose the pug life. Pug life chose you. Yikes. All right, let me get him home before he has a fit. Okay, so I put on some workout gear. Chill out, this is sports bra, not a regular bra. Do you know how hard it is to put on workout clothes that are too small for you because you outgrew them? And when you're already swollen from your from pre-period and sweating, but it's nine o'clock, nine o'clock. I just got home, put this on and my sneakers because we are in workout mode. And this is the time when I would normally be loafing in front of the TV. Actually, a girl walked past me wearing a shirt that said reformed couch potato. If she could wear that, I could wear, it, wear my sweat your pants off Richard Simmons shirt outside. Anyway, I'm going to do sweat your, no, dance your pants off. Nine o'clock when I would be relaxing, I'm going to dance my pants off. They're already too tight on me. Okay, let me get my, I didn't want to sit on the floor because I didn't think I'd be able to get back up. Where's my ice water? <sighs> Oh, 
Remind me again why I'm doing this to myself. Okay. Today, I did 26 minutes and 33 seconds. I tried to get one full song past to where I was before. And I thought that after the last song that I, that I uh, completed yesterday, which was Gloria by Laura Branigan, that it would slow down. And it didn't. In fact, he shows you on the screen steps, like a list of like six things. And he says you should be between three and four. So between moderate and now we're going into heavy exercise. What? I thought I just did heavy exercise. I only got up to moderate. And then he started after, so we're gonna start the heavy exercise. And it was, She Works Hard for the Money by uh, Donna Summer. And he's like, come on, sweat, sweat, sweat. You know, it, oh. I could not do it at the speed that he was doing it. And I don't know how those people who are a lot fatter than I am were keeping up. It just goes to show you, your size doesn't determine, doesn't show whether you're in shape or not in shape. Because those heavier people, they were more in shape than me. I, I'm sweating all over. My back is covered, covered in sweat. I know you want to hear that, right? I could, when I stopped, <clears throat> I could feel my heart be beating in my ears. And I only got to, what was it, 26 minutes and 33, whatever I said it was. And this, this video was like 58 minutes. I'd be the end of the summer before I get to the end of the video. Or somebody, or somebody will like um, take it down for copyright or something. Maybe I started wrong. Maybe I wasn't ready to dance my pants off. Maybe I should have started with sweating to the oldies. Maybe that would have been uh, less stressful. I don't feel well. I feel awful. My head hurts. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I feel like I need to take this tight ass uh, sports bra off. Now I know how Malcolm feels about wearing his bra. All right, let me take this off. I'm not gonna do that on camera. So I'm feeling a little better now. I just have this terrible feeling that I'm just going to have a heart attack, like literally have a heart attack while I'm doing my exercise. And he is not going to help. So I kind of want to talk to my doctor, you know, like the, they always say, 
talk to your doctor before starting your diet or exercise regimen. I kind of want to talk to my doctor about it. I was looking online. I know they say don't Google, uh, you know, health stuff, but it, it all talks about doing exercise and getting your heart rate going to prevent a heart attack. It doesn't say that it's going to give you a heart attack, but now I can see why those people on my 600 pound life, whatever, or is it my 300 pound life, whatever that show is, um, I can see why they can't move, why, why it's so painful for them to exercise. I mean, while I'm doing the exercise, I feel okay. But then as I'm like getting ready to stop doing the exercise and when I stop, I feel like death, like literally like death like sick to like my stomach feels sick I, I I feel like pain pain in my chest although that could be imaginary not like a tightness in my chest but like a slight pain in my chest I feel my arm feels tingly like isn't that the sign of a heart attack I don't know I feel like I need professional help like I I need to talk to a professional about what I should be doing and this is probably not the best exercise to be doing right before your period so I'm gonna you know my walks I'm gonna continue with my walks I think tomorrow depending on how woman time is doing because I haven't gotten it yet and you know when when I do have it it's gonna be difficult to do and you know an aerobic workout but I think I'm going to have to try a different workout maybe this is too strenuous for me maybe I underestimated severely underestimated what I can do <coughs> I need a moment sorry guys I feel like I inhaled dust okay um yeah, I think I, I severely underestimated what I'm capable of doing because I went from moving nothing to moving everything. And you guys go on YouTube and search for Richard Simmons Dance Your Pants Off. There's only, I think, one video that comes up. Um, and you know what? It, a lot of you may be able to do it, but if you're somebody who doesn't, doesn't exercise, does an exercise try doing it we all laugh at Richard Simmons try doing it and see don't just like try you don't just watch it and say like oh I could do that try it try it so I think tomorrow depending on the the status of my biology I will go for my walk but I think I will try a different workout. I, I don't think I'm, I can't do the dance your pants off. It's making me feel sick and I'm worried, really worried that it's gonna do something terrible to me. So I'm gonna try something else. Maybe I'll try the Jack LaLanne housewife workout or maybe I'll try the sweating to the oldies or some other you know, maybe I'll Google, you know, um, or YouTube uh, exercise for really fat beginners or something like that and try a less strenuous, wor strenuous workout and work my way up because I clearly can't do this. No, I'm not going to say I can't do this. I'm worried about what will happen to me if I continue to do this because I really do not feel well after doing that. And I don't mean like, that's the strange thing. I obviously I'm not doing it as fast as he's doing it in sync with how he's doing it. I don't feel pain, well I do feel, I feel some pain like some exercises like when he tells you to hold certain positions 
I can feel the muscles pulling, you know, but it's not like I'm in physical pain while I'm doing the exercise. It actually, you know, is okay. It's when I stop and it just all hits me. I don't know. There are you, I'm sure there's some workout people workout people in my audience. I know Lindsay, Lindsay, aren't you a workout queen? Um, let me know. What do I do? So I'm going to end this vlog here. Remember to comment, read, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all tomorrow for another edition of the walking vlogs. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land. Bye.